What's up, world? Welcome to another edition of I Mix What I Like right here with Jared Ball here at Black Power Media. Just wanted to do a short video in response to a tweet I just got a little while ago that I think continues to demonstrate the flaws within the commercial Black press that continue to lead to this confusion around buying power and more broadly speaking, capitalism, the economy, reporting on the economy, and what we might do about the situation. So it starts with this tweet that I got here a little while ago from Lauren Burke. And I mix what I like, tagging Roland Martin unfiltered in Black Star Network, which is Roland Martin's network. Uh, where where Lauren says Black Star Net Black Star Network is turning a profit. So in other words, at I mix what I like. Black Star Network is turning a profit, so he's making a profit in Black targeted news. The buying power appears to be predominantly Black. So I respond, apologies, but you are incorrect. I would ask that you review my free book more closely and or the many videos I produced on the subject. But the short of it is that Martin, to exist at current revenue or expand, he must and is taking money from major white corporations. Her response, okay, we'll review. The fact remains, Roland Martin Unfiltered has been profitable since 2020, but we'll review. And I only added that, in fact, I think I added this before her, I think that was her last response to what I added here, but no one can survive or expand on black dollars alone. And as I cite in my book, this has been explicitly known for decades, if not forever. The book can be downloaded at, downloaded at imixwhatilike.org. But then just out of curiosity, because I'm, I'm not familiar with Lauren Burke, I just went here to her Twitter you know, page. So I don't know Lauren Burke, but According to her page here, she's affiliated with The Guardian, <clears throat> NNPA, The Black Press, and is an alum of ABC, USA Today, Senate Dems, and The Hill. So she's got a strong journalism background, commercial mainstream journalism background, and 19,400 followers. This fits the pattern I describe in the book, where the commercial press, black or white, does not either understand or express a willingness to properly investigate the economy, or in this case, the, acclaim, the claim about buying power. And then more specifically, as I show in the book, the NNPA, the National Newspaper Pre Publishers Association, the largest collection of black press, commercial black press outlets in the country with hundreds of newspapers uh, associated with it and digital outlets, work hand in hand with Nielsen to promote the concept of buying power, because from their perspective, they want to convince white corporations buying ad revenue, spending ad revenue on ads, that there is a black population following their presses that will buy those products if advertised in those presses. So they have a vested interest in promoting the mythology and have done so coupled with, as I detail in the book, supported by insufficient to bad journalism. So here again in this tweet, without clearly having read my book or engaged any of my argument with substance, I get an unsupported with data, unreferenced citation, un, an unreferenced tweet, meaning, in, in, in other words, no citations, no references, no data, making a claim about Roland Martin, and then falsely making a claim, which seems to also wildly misunderstand the commercial media environment, that it is black money supporting Roland Martin. She seems to not watch Roland Martin's show and not see all of the Verizon ads, Toyota ads, I think Nissan ads or some other, you know, McDonald's relationships, et cetera, et cetera. And the paid, the sponsored paid relationships that masquerade as economic analysis on Roland Martin's show. Again, we've detailed all of this in videos, a number of them already on, on the channel, uh, but she seems to not have investigated that either. So again, with all uh, my point is with all those journalism credentials, this is the kind of journalistic approach that 
plays out when it comes to this topic and I think associated topics of black capitalism, capitalism writ large, and so on. So again, I, as I've invited her and anyone else, the book is free. I invite people to read it and critique it based on what I've actually said and what the analysis is and the data that I provide to support those conclusions. And I look forward to any critique, any discussion, or any debate that those who have read the work would like to engage, Ms. Burke or anyone else. Anyway, just a quick a quick video in response to that tweet to demonstrate yet again how the myth of Black buying power works in real time. Peace, everybody. <laughs>